information about the uh, maintenance in uh, main air compressor. So for uh, main air compressor, each and every stage have a relief valve. So that relief valve should be maintained properly. The maintenance for the relief valve should be done properly. So that uh, it will do its function in a correct way and avoid damaging your compressor. So I removed the relief valve and uh, for dismantling the relief valve, what are the procedures that we need to follow? I'll tell you. So this is your relief valve and this is your pressure adjusting screw. So before dismantling this, you have to measure the distance between these two. You have to measure the distance between these two with the help of vernier. So you have to take the distance. The idea to take the distance is after boxing back with the same distance you have to tighten the screw back so that the pressure won't be close. So how to dismantle? You just need to open this. I showed you already in the workshop but uh, now I want to tell you how it functions. So that is the reason I am opening this with hand but it cannot be opened by hand because you know we can open only with the help of your uh, spanner. So always use correct type of spanner, correct size of spanner so that you don't uh, damage your uh, old head. Okay, so we have to open this. So this is your valve seat and this is your uh, valve and this is spring and this is your spring cover and this is your valve body. So these are all the five main components that is incorporated in the uh, relief valve. So what are all the checks that we need to do? First thing is uh, you have to check this spring. Uh. Visually you have to check whether there is any damage, any broken and you can just press and see. So if it is okay then no problem, if not you have to change this spring. If you have a new spring, you can just, you can just measure the height of the spring comparing with the new one and old one so that you can uh, easily make out whether the spring is okay or not. And the next thing is, this is your valve guide. So this is your seating area. This is where it gets seated, like this here, there it gets seated. So this area should be clean. So I showed you how to do the lapping for this. Use a very fine lapping paste and keep it here and just you have to do the lapping like this. So this area you have to check for any damage, cracks because if it crack or any cavitation is there then you will notice the air leakage from here. So this is one. And this is your uh, cover for your spring and this is your valve body. So another thing is you have to check for the threads. Uh, threads. Threads should be in a good condition. Both the threads uh, here, here and the body thread. So this is how we need to check before uh, while dismantling, after dismantling, while uh, doing any uh, uh, checking. Uh, spring you have to check for the height, check for any damage. For the cover, just check visually, there is no crack, no damage, nothing. This also check for the body, just check for the seating area. And for the valve, again, seating phase should be in a good condition. So, how it works? The hooking principle is very simple. So, suppose this is your, this is how it will be inside. So, the air which is coming from the compressor outlet it goes through this way and if the air pressure overcomes this spring pressure the spring will get lifted like the valve will lift and spring will lift so the air high pressure air will come through this way come through this way and passes out through this way this is the reason why they gave uh, all this opening so in case the air is very high pressure the high pressure air will push the overcome the spring pressure so that the valve will open and air will pass through this way and go out through this way and once the pressure is normal because of the spring pressure it will 
the valve will seat back. Seat back to its place. So this is how uh, this relief valve works. Uh. So again, for uh, boxing up, usually when you open this piece, this spring, all this cover will be full of carbon and everything. So ensure every everything is cleaned nicely with the diesel and everything, and uh, blow some air. So again. Opposite way. When the way you open, you box back in the opposite way. Box it. And before boxing this valve guide, ensure the movement is free. Yeah? This movement should be free. If only the movement is free, then the valve will open close. If not, it will get stuck and your relief valve will fail. So that's all. So you box it up. Again, whenever you box up any threaded portion, make sure you are uh, putting a coat of hand like a molly coat or copper clip something, tighten it fully and again measure this height, it should be the height when you open. So this is how we have to open the uh, which, uh, dismantle, inspect, clean and uh, box band. I believe uh, this video must be given you some information about how the reliever works. Uh, how to do maintenance on relief. Do you have any doubt?